and what's good YouTube? We're back here again with the next round of the Yugi Tuber Grand Championship. Today we have Karatula versus Simo, and here with me for this electrifying commentary is none other than House of Champs, John Moore. What's good YouTube? I'm joined by Nimnim. Can you spell that right? <laughs> so today we have an interesting match. I'm not actually quite sure what the decks are. Alex didn't really let me in too much on what we're what we're watching today. All I know is the players we're watching against here. All I know is that Karatula, I do not have a good taste in my mouth playing against him last round after um getting completely smacked by the chain oh, burn. Oh, he from the tournament. <laughs> yeah, he killed me with chain burn. I'm still not too quite happy about that. So. Oh, so you're like on the outside watching like that could have been. Yeah, exactly. Oh, no. Oh, no. But Cartula 3, I have to give it to them. They play a ton of unique decks. So this tournament was almost handcrafted for them with how they actually just play so much rogue and have so many options for Mm -hmm. So I'm quite excited to see the competition we have going for us here. I'm quite excited to see how it pans out. Um, I'm really, I, I, since Simo kind of devised this tournament, I'm curious to see what he's going to start uh, by playing here. Yeah, Simo, uh, definitely a tough competitor at any point in time. I remember seeing him in a feature match against Billy on the bubble of a YCS, barely losing out there. Almost going through. And he also lost to Michael State that event. So by no means were his losses any kind of, like, uh, they were they were rough losses. Yeah, but yeah. Alex, I, I'll still stick it to him that he sucks at this game. But uh, he, he don't tell him this, but he is quite decent. Uh, I would never admit it to his face, though. So, <laughs> so. Yeah, maybe if he listens through this, ooh, we'll see if he just throws it up. All right, so it looks like finally have, the dual. Ooh. Oh, it looks like we have domain monarchs sitting in Caratula. Another so kind of very nicely, and he's going first. It's, that's a crazy hand, actually. I, I'd say it's even like probably one of the most ideal hands I've ever seen. The only thing that could probably make it better is if he had an ether just chilling in his hand. But I, then again, I don't think it matters because uh, he's going to be able to grab it. Simo was quite the green duelist there, not asking how many cards in his opponent's extra deck before the beginning of the match. <laughs> Ooh, that could have definitely changed the Rock, Paper, Scissors game's duelist. Absolutely could have. But it looks like we're going to see a very scary yeah, we, opening from Karatula we're, here. We're, you, you got to look through his deck there, and he's maining a huge kaiju engine as well. Yeah, and I think this was discussed earlier in a couple other commentaries, just how powerful the kaijus are against this type of meta that we kind of devised. Whereas, since we're playing a lot of non-meta decks, uh, any deck that's going to like maybe do, like I want to say, even a gimmicky thing, or like put multiple resources into making like a really cool boss monster, just gets curb-stomped by kaijus. And that's really scary. So... I'm I, again. It this... looks like he's going to reduce the level here, probably, uh, in order to keep extra resources. Mm -hmm. And having that Erebus is huge too. I'm actually curious why he didn't bother to um, activate the return before summoning the Erebus. Oh well, there he goes. He made a mistake. I'm going to assume. Uh, he was revealing the Erebus, I think. For tenacity, or yeah, yeah he, I don't think he knows there's a reveal button, so he's probably not a regular dueling book duelist, and not not too many people use the client while it's still fairly buggy. There's <laughs> been a lot of disconnects. There's been disappearing decks between games where uh, you don't know if your side deck made it or not. So uh, definitely, the client has had its issues, and uh, not everybody's completely versed with it. So that's just how we'll, I think he's revealing is the special summon take back to hand for each effect. Yeah, okay. Now, now we can understand that, because I was a little confused as he wouldn't activate return first. It just didn't make too much sense, but it looks like now he's activating uh, the return along with the Erebus to take a card out of Alex's hand. I'm actually quite curious why he chose Escalation as his choice, like if he doesn't intend on adding um, Air... Uh, what's the other guy? I haven't seen this deck in a while. Is it... Um, oh! oh <laughs> he's getting the solos, yes. Oh, that's crazy. What is the um the guy at one now called the Light Monarch? I forget his name. Ether is it? Yeah, uh, yeah. I feel like it was like centuries ago since I've seen this deck played, but in real life, it like really wasn't that long. 
So, Ooh, Frost Blast getting tech there. And he sends it to the grave, which is a, a later resource for him if he wants. I, I didn't see if he sent to Prime also already. I don't believe he did. Um, still just a really, really powerful opening hand for um, Karatula there. I yeah, he's going to be able to rip two here total, mm -hmm. in a sense. Dare I say it's like borderline like insane how good this hand was. Because he just... Uh, well, I don't know. You say he gets to rip two. Uh, oh, with the escalation, he does get to rip another one during his opponent. Yeah, and he's he's gonna get a pretty pretty strong start oh, here because he's tributing. Game. Yeah, tributing the uh, idea will also get him another card back. Mm -hmm. This is just also gravy. Mm -hmm. Starting Alex with that um, little um, gap of cards, like not having the. Um, Plus one from his, uh, of course, going second draw, but like now he's going to be ripped out of two cards. Uh, I, I'm curious to see if it'll matter. Maybe he plays a deck that really doesn't revolve around hand advantage too much. He's locked out of the extra deck either way right now, though. Yeah, and that's pretty. Da that's very dangerous too. It's really interesting to see that Kartula is playing such a, a high kaiju engine when he's also trying to focus on establishing boards. Maybe the thought process is they're going to have quite a difficulty killing me in this format through big bodies first and prime and grave second so that if I have something that's not as progressive, such as my kaiju slumber, I am perfectly fine going in here. Mm -hmm. Maybe it just also might help with his turn twos because it looks like... um. Outside his turn one seemed pretty powerful with Destalos and Erebus, but with um Ether at one, uh Monarchs lost a lot of those turn two plays that might have actually made a really good impact on the deck. So it looks like he has to kinda of compensate by playing the kaiju engines to be able to kind of board control and keep himself in the game. And he's just going to uh tribute here. It doesn't look like he wants to chain prime to it. Oh no, here he goes. Considerations, I suppose. Uh, I'm, I'm he could curious. banish that tenacity, bring I, back I Prime, and then Tribute. I'd imagine banishing the tenacity is probably the best choice because you're able to get that back with uh, the uh, the little dude there. Yeah. So um, it wouldn't make sense only to me. But I'm I'm quite curious why he decided to wait until Alex set a card to do. Well, that was great play by Alex as well. He's like, I don't want this gone. You haven't done it yet. I know that's your last card. Uh, I'm going to set this. Mm -hmm. but then we, again, call that, we call that outplay. <laughs> but then again, we could also say Cartula could easily like shark him at that point and say, hey, uh, you didn't clear your phases. I was going to do this in the draw phase, you know, something like that. I, I don't think anybody is uh, sharking in there. Yeah. And is an escalation uh, limited to certain phases? Escalation, I do not believe so. I just believe it is the quick play kind of version of um, Ether's Effect. Oh, it's during your opponent's main phase or battle phase, actually. Yeah, right. so Simo gets the priority set. You're true. You are very right. I, I forgot about that. Hmm. Wanted to make sure the watchers know that one. Oh, and and, oh, 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 oh Nurse Burn! Really, Alex? Really? Of all the duelists here, you're trying to flip some coins and summon some Nurse Reficules, huh? <laughs> He's trying to avenge me. From uh, my loss to Karatula with the infamous chain burn, so. But you gotta imagine this is an insane matchup for that deck too, like not uh, you don't need your extra deck at all with this kind of deck. So, Alex might be in a really good position. I don't know why Alex is just. Nah, uh, I think oh, I think you're just gonna rip desires here. It's either that or banishment, but like uh, the thing is. is Alex only has 4,000 damage in his hand with the two... Um, I'll take the risk, man. Uh, oh, oh, no. Oh, what? Cartoon is deciding to pick to get rid of some of the burn, which is, that's definitely the most... That is the oddest choice out of the four I would have picked. Well, well, Alex has to directly top probably two burn cards. Probably. Huh. Unless that first set was a burn card. In, I don't know. Yeah, I'd imagine it could be. It probably is. And Alex showing that dueling book know-how with that banish tin button on <laughs> Pot of Desires. I'm drawn to here. So Alex is, like we said, mainly digging for more burn, of course, in his uh, Nurse Burn deck. But he needs to get just enough, otherwise this matchup's going to go extremely downhill. 
as um it looks oh. like card tool will just be able to like counter really easily getting rid of nurse and then just putting sinking damage in uh with only three sets here it could be or could not be enough uh but yeah in the main phase one we're probably gonna get the Kuraz play right oh yeah I didn't mention. oh and there's frost blast in the graveyard too and that's gonna be able to destroy one of those back row too i think right is that what that's what uh, frost does yeah, he's banishing it, it looks oh, like. Does I it get it unbanished or its own effect? Uh, I think he banished it for um, yeah, Ether. Uh, Ether, yeah. Which still, That's I think right. this is super, super good because he is able to summon a um, Kuraz from the deck and pop two of those back row, which will mitigate the damage and just give Alex two cards. But by the time uh, the next turn comes around, it's just going to be too late anyways. Those two cards aren't going to matter. Hmm. He gets the draw still. This, if it's bad reaction to Samochi, it could put him right back in the same position. Very true. I did not think of bad re reaction to Samochi. But then again, you have to also think where um, if it is bad reaction to Samochi, that's one less burn card that it could have Oh, he's giving them the thousand. Oh, that's <laughs> not a good look. And the pass. Oh, Kuraz. Oh, what? Oh, I... I'm not quite uh... sure what's going on here. Is this... I, I don't think Simo was done. Oh, it looks what like happened. it. Yeah, yeah. Simo accidentally passed. I, it makes sense, I guess. I don't know. When was Ether activated? I thought Ether... Is Ether had to be activated during the main phase of your opponent's turn? Yeah, yeah, he did it during Simo's uh, main phase one. You can't activate Ether during the end phase, correct? No, I don't okay. believe so. Oh, well, there comes the conceit anyways from Simo. Realizing that he couldn't have much here, I had to give his opponent a thousand off of Upstart Goblin, which is already a bad spot. So he just quickly concedes and passes it over. So during my streams on House of Champs, we always like to take this time during siding to sell something. I believe Simo is selling some beautiful playmats for the Grand Tuber Championship, the Grand Yugi Tuber Championship, <laughs> and uh, they look quite nice. I remember he did a fundraiser towards it. If he's still in the fundraising phase, be sure to get yourself one of those nice, amazing playmats. And if he's past that phase, go ahead and buy yourself one. Why not treat yourself? You've been watching all these duels. You've made it this far. Why not treat yourself to a nice Yugi Tuber Grand Championship 2017 playmat? And I do believe all the designs are made by MSTTV, uh, who also happened to be the designer for the new Imperium mats, which you'll be seeing soon enough, or I think actually it's been revealed and re reviewed on Alex's channel even, so you can tell that the art quality is top-notch and then you're not paying for something that is a dinky little graphic. It's actually something rather nice and something cool to invest in to show your support for the Yugi Tuber Grand Championship. <laughs> Jim Playmats Master Race! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know what happened there, but here we go into game two. And he has opened amazing again, but we're going to have Simo going first. Oh, we've got the winky face. Oh, <laughs> no. Cartola. If you see Simo winking at you, no matter where you are, if you're on a dueling table, if you're at the bar, it doesn't matter where you are, it's over. <laughs> Cartula looks like he has a pretty solid opening hand, though. So, um, I mean, having the idea plus the Thestalos to pull a card from his hand, um, but it's, it's totally, we have to just address the fact that it's extremely likely that Alex will be able to put 8,000 worth of burn damage on his turn here. I also just have to say the irony that Cartula has Nurse Reficule as his avatar. Oh. <laughs> I just noticed that versus Simo, who's actually just playing the deck against him. Man. I'm hoping Alex avenges me and wins this match. I'm just hoping. I I, I, I need I need Car Tour to get knocked out. Uh, it sounds biased, which I don't think we're really supposed to be biased in these commentaries. But hey, whatever it is, what it is. I'm just trying. I'm just trying to get avenged for my loss for Nurse Burn. Well, Simo has set four with a nurse. Unless he tops something like a Forbidden Chalice, yeah, this is going to be game right here. Uh, that Let is if uh, all of them aren't bluffs, which I don't think there's anything that would bluff. Oh, oh gift there's, card. Yeah, there's plenty of bluffs because he into the Voided, so he has to set whatever he wants to mm -hmm. keep. But it's just unlikely that anything would have been set. He's going to do it one by one, mm -hmm. so as not to waste everything in one chain stack, I think. Or that's it. I don't. I can't tell if Alex is kidding or if he's serious. That only three thousand damage. I, 
I think he had to set the rest because of Into the Void. Ouch. That's absolutely insane. Oh, Chalice. What? That's the... What? Wow. Why is Alex signing wow. Chalice wow. in second? Got him. Got him. That's oh, either my. the coolest tech ever or just the strangest thing I've ever seen. That was a great side deck. <laughs> So he, he actually cited cards for going first for this matchup. What a clown. <laughs> well, there's not going to be anything that really furthers him this turn, I would think. He can, yeah, yeah, he can get Pantheism. He can draw two. Uh, he can banish Pantheism. But he, he's not going to be getting an additional summon unless there's something I don't know about nope. in this deck. Maybe he's going to dig for a Kaiju and get rid of that nurse. That could be a play. Um... I don't think the idea what Chalice only gives 400 attack points, correct? Oh, another one. Jeez. <laughs> He'll be able to send uh, that, that Frost Blast we saw before, oh, though. Oh, yeah. I'm curious to see what those other back row Alex has behind him are. Oh. Uh, well, no. He's not going to be able to get to any any plays like that. I was thinking extra deck Monarchs for a second, where perhaps he could go for like a Zen Mayo uh, later in the duel, or somehow get to it this turn. Yeah, it but, looks like we're not seeing brilliant fusion in the deck, though, so it well, doesn't no, seem like we'll be seeing any no of those there's, there's no extra deck. No extra deck so at all. <laughs> yeah, that's why I was. I started thinking of lines of play, flashbacks to, like, the EDM mirrors that took an hour and a half, and, like, just thinking of all the extra deck plays, and then, oh, we're, we're with the good old domain version. It's so weird how that format went, too. We started yeah. with domain, everyone playing domain, everyone went to EDM, and it went back to domain. It was just, it's a, so many formats go back in on themselves and go back to their start. Mm -hmm. That was a really fun format, though. A lot of people weren't too nice, but there was a lot of little intricacies with the uh, Monarch mirror match, the EDM mirror match, that really separated the good players from the better ones. But um, I remember I prepared for an ARG in Pittsburgh that weekend for EDM, and first round I faced domain Monarchs, and just the look of defeat on my face after playing that, because I did not expect people to switch back over to Domain. But this deck, it just works its magic against any type of rogue deck. And it's crazy how good it is. You just look up, I have the high ground, Anakin! No, let me show you what I do in <laughs> Domain. Uh, I, I wonder if we went back what the matchup win ratio of Domain versus EDM is. Oh, it's that's something curious to know, actually. Uh, I, I would call it 8 to 10. I would definitely probably say um, domain. Seven to three. Yeah. I would say well, it depends. Do we want to just like pigeonhole it into one segment of a format, or do we want to do the entire format? Because I think um, I would say the end, the uh, towards the end where we went back towards that nationals. Yeah, that'd be some. But the, cool the matchup too. itself is still pretty unique: EDM versus domain. Mm -hmm. And he's going to have to pass to Simo. It'll be really interesting to see what other back rows are left. As we get that rare uh, that rare potential for Nurse to do damage, but with Escalation down, mm -hmm. it's unlikely. Escalation down, that card, that's, that's just going to come right out of Alex's hand, or at least I expect and, it to. And by a rare, I mean battle damage, <laughs> but it's going to be happening. Oh, actually, no, that card won't come out of Alex's hand because it's going to go into main phase one and he's going to have the priority to set it. Picture on the NSFW version. <laughs> you have priority. Duelist. Oh, Ooh, to, to the, the battle, battle phase. phase. Oh, oh, slow down. So, he's going to say, slow down there. Yeah. Oh, nope. He can do this say, in the battle Slow phase. down there, partner. I'm going to make yeah, that cut fine with the battle phase here. I'm and he's going to get card here as well. Uh, this is just looking like one of those fresh 2-0s. Unless Simo really turns this around fast. Unless he's like, it's a back to. row. I've got two real back row. I wanted to make sure you don't have Dallas. <laughs> yeah, he's just bluffing with two more gift cards back there. Oh, oh. Now, see, he should have said that. Wow. What? Oh, his opponent doesn't have an extra deck. Oh, oh my what? God. Whoa. Whoa. Oh shit! I didn't oh realize that. Oh my god! Fucking level! Holy crap! <laughs> that card's completely useless. Jeez, how did we how did we overlook that? <laughs> I mean, how often do we see the the nurse burn, nurse burn monarch against domain monarch mirror? Ma yeah, yeah. Who? How often do we see that? Uh, and, and Gage just <laughs> fell over in excitement there. Oh, 
John, you're about to laugh. I just fell out of my chair. I'm not even shitting. <laughs> oh, no extra! I was, I was so shocked that I legitimately fell out of my chair. Oh my god. <laughs> and here comes Kuraz once again. It looks like he's giving considerations. I mean, there's really not too much to consider consider from here, as it looks like those last two back rows sitting in Alex's um, in Alex's back row rather are actually just bluffs, if anything. So there could be a well placed uh, Wabaku or something. I don't know his side deck at all. I we've already seen a Chow's. I don't know if he put any battle resistant traps to try to get turns. I the the tournament is so wide ranged with meta being struck and being back in the. Duelist Saga format that his side there there are probably side deck cards down at this point. There could be a Burning Mirror Force for the hype. He he really could be trying to play. That would uh, be a wild oh, but there's deck. one Twisters. We're gonna see what they are. Oh, and there's the Kaiju Slumber too to just wipe that Nurse Reficule off there if we need to. So it looks I, like this is gonna we're gonna be able to see what those last few cards are and if they were actually relevant or not. Well, here goes the Frost Blast. Pew. Got him. Oh, there's bad reaction. Reaction. So, just stacking on top of what Nurse Artie was doing for him. Oh no, a sad face. Wow, looks like game. Alex just got a really, really poor hand for going first. It happens though. This this deck is not the most consistent deck. It is a lot more consistent than it used to be with Nurse now getting her name as a Dark World and being searchable, but it still just faces these issues of starting with five cards and trying to get there, and then game two and three trying not to get Chalice, which is a card that's been in every single meta that it's had a chance to like rear its head in. Mm -hmm. Chalice was a really interesting check choice, but like... You I have really to think in it's not shotgunning this Twin Twisters. Uh, that it, he's already seen Chalice. I'm I'm kind of surprised that he's not like trying to force that back row there. I mean, it, is it really important though? Because the amount of pressure he's going to be able to apply anyways, just it doesn't matter. It, like it doesn't seem like he, Alex will have enough cards to be able to come back. He here. runs long into Burning Mirror Force. Oh, that Force. would be that would be spooky. He has to activate this Twin Twisties. <laughs> I'm genuinely surprised that Alex oh. decided to play um, Forbidden Chalice, so I can't wrap my head around that, as that would have probably just been better if it was any other burn card in his deck. He's just going to get Frost Blast back here. Okay. Oh, it looks like he's getting Erebus to hand to probably send back a card without targeting, so it would force the back row in that scenario. Activate. To graveyard, gonna draw two, and Frost Blast is back in the grave where it wants mm -hmm. to be. So he just didn't want to use the resource quite yet. Show the mirror for Simo. That would be hype. That's another. Oh uh, my! Uh, uh, How unlucky uh, uh. do you have to be? Jeez, he drew the card, the one uh, burn card that just doesn't do anything against Monarchs because his opponent doesn't have an extra deck. He drew both bad reactions to Samochi and Nurse Reficule. Well, I think if he he thought about it, he clearly would have cited that out. Uh, just like we realized it the moment it went from his hand, I'm sure the moment he drew it, it hit him as well. Really unfortunate. <laughs> it looks like this game's pretty much over, though, as Alex <coughs> just has no cards. And, um, card totally yeah, there's just a prime stacking loaded, up there's advantage. A, the, well, there's a prime loaded. He's going to be able to get game here with 328s on board and shuffling back the uh, the nurse here because mm -hmm. he's going to be able to reduce the levels of the Erebus as well. Ooh, Cartula, bringing the Monarchs. Great choice for this part of the tournament. Mm -hmm. uh, just <laughs> when you really want the strong nurse burn matchup. <laughs> and you don't quite get it. <laughs> uh, no extra deck. Man, that 
That's crazy. Oh no, Simo's gonna cry. <laughs> Just like I... me when I watch your lie in April. <laughs> Is 28-28-28 enough for Yeah, that's game? game. That's that's easy peasy game. Remember, uh, I think 28-28-24 is 8,000 from uh, Dark Armor. Yep. Wow. Quick 2-0 from Cartula. Well, it's a little bit of unfortunate because we didn't get to see the Nurse Burn do its thing quite as easily. But we did get to see Monarchs uh, at least rotate another Monarch matchup out of the um, moving forward in the tournament here. So we don't have to watch them. I know a lot of people aren't too fond of uh, watching the Monarch uh, matches because they're not as enjoyable. Uh, the flashbacks, the PTSD. Yeah, please note uh, Rescue Cat Duelist's game uh, where she faced against Heme Innovation Yu-Gi-Oh's quote-unquote fun deck. So, at least we don't have to see that anymore. But um, thank you so much for joining us, guys, today. Uh, remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and follow the rest of the YukiTuber Grand Champion Tournament. And, um, Jonathan, you have anything to sign us off with? <coughs> Gen Playmat Master Race! <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you next time.